Hello subscribers, thank you for joining me here today. This is the Spy Options Trading Channel here with another Trading Tip Thursday and I'm going to get straight down to it. Tip number one, do not set your expectations so darn high that you can't reach your goal. Make reasonable goals that you can actually reach guys. Uh, set a goal for your first month. And maybe it's not a dollar amount that, that, that you set. Maybe you set, hey, I really want to learn the MACD indicator or I really want to find somebody that I can watch and, and learn from. Whatever that goal is, start out learning. Don't go in expecting that you're going to make a thousand percent in your first month, even in your first year. Very rarely do people actually make a thousand percent. Uh, either A, they're extremely gutsy to have held their position for that long, or B, they're just plain crazy. Uh, there's no two ways about it. So set yourself some reasonable goals. Uh, try to learn the game. Understand that it's going to take some time. Set some good, reasonable goals for you. Tip number two is go for small gains. Again, don't go for those hundred percenters. Instead, look at it in, in, in this way, in this manner. If you can figure out a way to make, say, 5% each and every day, which in the grand scheme of things, starting out, it doesn't seem like it's a whole lot of money, and I'm about to show you exactly what 5% can do for your portfolio. But set those goals, take your profits early. I'd rather be in a position of saying, oh, I, I got out of that stock too early because um, I, I made a profit, but I could have made X amount more. Rather than saying, gosh, I wish I would have sold out because now my account's in the red. I'd rather be in that first position. There's nothing worse than, than, than being in the green and letting a position go from green to red. That's, that'll eat you up all day. That might eat you up all week. So let, let's get down to it. Let me show you what 5% can actually do for your portfolio. I made this spreadsheet here uh, that helped me understand exactly what 5% can do and why it doesn't matter uh, when a stock or option runs up a thousand percent after I sold it. There's always the next trade. Always remember that as well. There's always the next trade. With that being said, um, here we go. We have a starting uh, cash value of $500. I set my uh, percent gain at 5%. And you'll see here how much money you actually end up after a trade, your total essentially, and how much money you actually made on the trade. Now, this doesn't actually put it into account uh, commission fees. We're ignoring that at the uh, moment. So, uh, when you first make your trade, let's say you, may, you start out with $500 and you made 5%. You're going to make $25. You now have $525 uh, to trade with. You roll all, all of that over and you make uh, your, your 5% again. Now you made $26.25. Now you have $551.25 uh, to trade uh, next. And you keep doing that, you keep doing that, you keep doing that, you keep doing that. After 20 trades, uh, you'll have $13.26.65. $1,326.65. And now you're consistently making $60 or more on your trades. Now, you can see how quickly this can uh, start adding up. And after uh, 79 trades, you'll have $23,600. That's, that's quite amazing there, guys. Um, and, and we can play with these numbers all you want. Let's say um, 10%. 10%. Now, all of a sudden, in your first trade, you made $50. You roll that over and over and over and over. And now, look at the difference. We had $26,000 at the end of this here. And now 10%, you're actually at $931,091.01. Now, this is crazy, guys. This isn't taking under account realistically um, you know, how you would trade. But you get my point here, where 5%, 5 to 10% can make you a lot of money once you have found your strategy that you can consistently trade each and every day. That, that's my whole point of this, of going for small profits, 
So that's it guys, those are the two trading tips that I have for you today on this Trading Tip Thursday. If you haven't checked out my latest video, my latest trade, uh, I'll put a link down below somewhere around here and please watch it. Um, I, I do try to make 5 to 10% of my money each and every trade. Uh, when I trade, um, I didn't trade for a whole week from uh, the uh, making of this video, but I did make a trade today and I made money, guys. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share my videos. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. It'll help me out tremendously. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. I would appreciate the support. Thank you so much for watching.